What's up guys, this is Scott, KC Blade Drip. And here we are, we're back again talking about knives. Oh man, this is the best part of the day. Thanks for hitting play. I've got my trusted but day day of as always, I try to have my uh, cup of coffee, especially when it's early in the morning. Home of 150% guarantee, where I guarantee 100% of the time, I'm over 50% right. Ah, very good, very good. Um, before us, we've got the, well, A, Microtech Ultratech. Every knife has a story, and here we try to kind of go over that story, talk about it, learn about it together. I'm an amateur. All these are my opinions as a disclaimer, things that I've learned, know, and there's so much more out there, so much more. I'm just a novice. I'm a, I'm a beginner. I'm crawling in this knife journey. So, um, also, guys... Casey Blade Drip, that's me on Instagram. Give me a follow if you're on Instagram. I got knife pictures, art, things that I do, trying to be a little creative. Now, this is kind of in my wheelhouse, I like to believe, as far as knives go. And as the future rolls around, it's not a comparison video. So, I, I, I was kind of thinking, well, do I want to show a couple of other knives with this particular knife? And the answer is no. I, I just want to be able to talk about this particular knife. Man, the hair is strong with this one. The dogs had quite a bit of hair last night, getting all ruffled around. Um, so I'm going to kind of just strictly uh, keep it to the Microtech Ultratech. Now, <clears throat> As always, uh, just know what your life, lo uh, the laws are as far as your knife laws. I know I've got some people from the UK and other areas, whether it be in the United States or others, where maybe automatic knives aren't legal. This is going to be an out the front. I mean, it's, isn't it funny that here we have this knife, right? Oh my God, how scary. But we have this knife, and this could be illegal where you're at. But yet, I could be wielding this from the kitchen because I get mad because you're not making something that I like. And if we compare that, this is completely legal to have in my kitchen, and this is illegal. Uh, which one would you rather have? Well if you had to in some type of a emergency. But anyways, I it's just to kind of show you how I think that's a little silly. It's all about deployment, the way that this thing is going to eject or fire. So now, as far as the Microtech Ultratech, this is probably the reason why this is one of my First videos that I'm going to show, which in the future I've got several other uh, Microtechs and other companies, uh, OTFs and uh, Automatics, that I'll be covering or letting you look at and talking about. This particular one is probably one of the most well known of Microtech knives. Anthony Marfione started Microtech 1994. And there's people that either they hate them or they love them, or they're curious and they don't know much about them, but they are wondering, you know, they're, they're fascinated with them. So you have some different type players in the game. Now, these, uh, the company itself, Microtech, it tends to be a little bit more on the expensive side, depending on who you talk to. 
to me, anywhere between 220, 200, and 400 is a little bit expensive on a knife. Okay. Um, money doesn't grow on trees, and for the most people, if you get a Lightning OTF, not, I'm not even going to cover anything that's considered a clone because to me, that's garbage, which is an identical copy. But any OTF company and their own individual company, some people may decide to, to spend $30, $40, $50 on a good OTF that does the job of what you need daily. And that's, you know, that's your choice. I do think with the premium products and having somebody here in America that's getting up and lacing up their boots, going to a factory or a place of work and QCing and building, um, I, you know, I'll pay a little more. In fact, I love the people that I deal with at Microtech and the dealers and other things. So I like the company. I, I do. Now, so they've been around for a while. The Ultratech itself, which is what we're looking at, this is probably their most well-known out the front. It's just very popular. Popular size. Uh, probably the most purchased knife that they have in their lineup. They have different uh, styles, types. They have special editions. They have Star Wars. They have... Uh, you know, colors, themes. They've got a signature series. They've got full-blown customs, mirror polish, hellhound, drop point, uh, daggers. I mean, so they have a lot of different kinds depending on what you're looking for, the color you're looking for in your situation. This is kind of a plain Jane. Um that we're looking at today. Now, one thing I did change the glass breaker. Mine came with a black one, but like some of my knives, I'm not meaning to, this is, you know, this is in my collection. I've carried this uh, for some time, but I've carried all of my Microtex. This has got like bronzed uh, glass breaker. I got this off of eBay, I think. And I just love the color of this, how it kind of the contrast with the black and then the bronze look on the glass. I'm not a huge fan of glass breakers. I don't hate them, but uh, they're kind of, they are what they are. It's a part of the knife and I like this look. So I changed that and put this one on. Now this particular one, as with different ones, um, the clips here, I like this. As you can see, it's more or less a deep carry. I don't. Your pants really don't go up underneath this tightest edge right here. Although I think maybe it can. I guess it depends on you know what what type of pants you're wearing. My jeans usually will ride up to about this point right here. I like their clips or this particular clip, it, um, how it's got the lip on it here so it, it goes over your pocket really well. Then you have a secondary area here on the clip, but overall this slides in and out of your pocket really well. So I like this, it's not too long, it's not real stubby. It's a perfect length, perfect width for me. And I'm just going to stick to reviewing this knife as well because there are some things, features that are on other Ultratex or different styles. And I'll probably carry uh, cover those in a future uh, video. Another reason to check out, you know, either my Instagram or subscribe. That's right. Hit that like button. Also subscribe because I'll be having a lot more knife content videos uploaded regularly for you. If you like to listen to a guy that is an amateur talking about knives. Okay, so this clip, basically you've got the born on date, which in this case is gonna be September of 21. And the date now, this is going to be May 12th of 2022. 
Here's the logo, logo for Microtech, as you see. And then the serial number right here. That's a lot. Okay. This is a all aluminum frame. Now, there's two different types of OTFs. There's a dual action, okay, which is inside this knife, there's going to be a spring or springs. In this case, it's a spring. You have a track, tracking system, and the blade itself will ride in that track. When you go to push or put resistance on your trigger, when it hits a certain point of resistance, that spring is going to fire the blade out. When the blade fires out, it locks into place. Now, one thing about OTFs, unless you're really talking about a Hawk Deadlock, which is a whole different brand, they're going to have just a little bit of movement side to side or blade play. Just a little bit. That's, that's part of the OTF. Because when this fires out of this system inside, you have to have just a little bit of space for that to travel and then lock in place. If it was completely tight, it you might have problems with that firing in and out. And it's just the way these things are designed, okay, which is all natural. The, it, the knife lo does lock into place, though, and it works very, very well. So it uses a tracking system. It fires your blade out, locks into place. You're good to go. Use your knife as you do. And when you're done with it, you can use the trigger. Okay, right here. Step side kind of ramps up gradually. So your thumb will comfortably rest on here and it's not too aggressive on that jimping. This is actually a very comfortable trigger here. If you can see how non-aggressive that is. I love the the design with, it looks kind of like an X to me. But then when you pull it back, it's gonna use the same spring on the inside to put resistance. And you get to a certain point and you feel it build up. Then it pulls it back in. That, that is a dual action OTF, automatic knife. Okay. A single action is going to fire using the same type system on an OTF auto, but once you have it fired to retract the blade, you have to manually pull something and pull the blade back yourself. It doesn't automatically use both ways to retract and deploy. So that's a little bit on the difference of the OTFs. So I think in essence, there's three types. There's the dual action, there's a single action, and then you have also an OTF that could be considered a gravity knife. Okay, and that's where you're gonna use the own weight of your blade with no spring. It just, you're gonna tilt the knife or swing it and the blade drops out and retracts without using any type of assistant. You're, you're using your own strength or, or, or action on a gravity knife. So that's as far as the action and how the OTF uh, would work in this knife or out the front action would work as far as firing the blade. I've never really, with a Microtech, I've never had an issue with mine firing or not firing. I did do a video on a Benchmade that, uh, Pagan, that has some firing issues on it. I haven't had a problem with these. So this is an all aluminum handle on this particular one. You have proprietary screws. They You can buy a tool so that if you needed to and you know what you're doing, you could open this or tighten it. I don't open mine. 
I watch people do those videos, and I'll tell you what, it's pretty complicated, really, for someone who's not technical as far as building or putting things together like that. And I, knowing me, I'd lose a spring or something wouldn't go back right, then I'd be screwed. So I just don't take mine apart. But you could get a tool if you, if you needed or wanted to on these particular knives. The Microtech emblem there. Ba, 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 in here. I bought this on the Microtech Gear website. It got, it's a stand. So yeah, all aluminum. Now on this particular handle, you have a little bit of jimping here on the top and on the rear of the handle here. Underneath, you've got jimping. This is a nice touch because being all aluminum in this particular handle is, you know, it's a little bit smooth. So when you hold it between the trigger and this jimping on the handle itself, that it, you have a good, it feels good in your hand. The action I really like, yes, they tend to on the button, not a lot, but if you if you push on this trigger, you can hear just a little bit, just a touch of like a rattle. That's just the design. It's not weak. It's not going to break. These are premium parts and designs, guys. So, yes, I know, and I'm going to actually buy another OTF of another company because I want to try them out. I like trying different brands. So, I'm not saying that, you know, to everybody this is the king, but I like Microtex. I like the design. I like the way they function. I think, to me, it's worth it. The button, um, it's good as far as the tracking system here. Push up, you have resistance. You see my thumb is pushing. Before you get to the breaking point, boom. So if this is in your pocket, it's not gonna fire out. And if it does, guys, check this out. This is just a towel. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fire out at it. That wasn't a good example here. There. It goes off the track if you hit something. So it's not going to stab up in you like you see in the movies or some people. And if it goes off that track on the inside, you just pull it back out. And you're good to go. Kind of a security system. Here's our hand. And I have a large hand. So you have plenty of area to grip the knife, okay? It's not, you, I mean, this is actually as far as size on length. This is a good size. So whether I'm holding it like this, or if I choose to keep my thumb up on the firing ramp, you have a good purchase or grip that you're able to get on this knife. The handle is a little bit thin. The handle is a little bit thin and narrow. Well, actually, I should say narrow. But that's, again, that's a design, which makes it very easy to drop it in your pocket. You can either clip it on your pocket, or sometimes if I've got on gym shorts or something, I'll just drop this in my pocket. Or my if i got a hoodie on, I'll drop it in my pocket for my hoodie. And it's so light so easy that it's nothing to drop it in your pocket. That's the one thing I really like about this knife is you can just pull it out of your pocket, use it, and drop it back in and it's so light that you have no problems doing that. That's one of the things about these knives is the ease of using it and deploying it. Okay, let's let's weigh and let's measure it for you guys. You know I like to do that. I don't. I'm not going to read a, a website or act like I'm in uh, algebra uh, class in school and do a bunch of homework where I take write down stuff. 
The handle is about five inches with the glass breaker. Without it, you're looking at about 4.75 inches on the handle. Okay, deployed, I think your blade's about three and what, three and, yeah, about three and a quarter cutting edge. Maybe a little bit more total blade length, but we're looking at a right about three and a quarter of cutting edge. Overall, you're looking at eight inches right around there. The weight of this thing, you're going to be amazed because these things are light, uh, really, really light. Three point five. Very light. Very, very light. So there we go as far as weight, kind of the handle here, how they deploy and work function. Now the one thing about these, guys, yeah, and they're almost a novelty for some people, but they are very functional depending on where you're at. If you're in an urban setting, especially like you're kind of a city dude, perfect. I mean, if you're out in the country and you're in the outback and you're working on a farm, maybe not. Um, because the thing is, is see this? All right. I don't know if you got to see down in there. But the way this is, is there's a tracking system, and so the blade is in here. So when you put when you fire this out and use it, if you're cutting if you're cutting fruit, uh, fruit, food, anything that's gonna get this blade sticky or gunked up, when you wipe this out, when you wipe this off. Man, the guys this morning, I guess they didn't get their coffee or they did get their coffee because they're loud. You're going to need to wipe this off or clean it because when you retract this in here, you're going to have, if you have any residue or anything, it could potentially get in here and it could mess up your tracking system or get it gunked up. So you want to make sure that you have your blade clean and be very thoughtful of what goes inside here. If you have it in your pocket and you get lint or dust or dirt that goes inside here, that can mess your blade. I mean, it could make it kind of sticky or it can make it not travel well. So if you're in a, a dusty or a, a environment where you're pulling this out and you're really hard using this, cutting some things that uh, have a lot of, like I said, food processing or any type of, you know, a uh, heavy dirt moisture or anything, keep this blade very clean so that it'll keep on working and retracting in and out like that smoothly. So that's one thing that you kind of, it's tricky. You gotta be a little bit careful and mindful of on the blade. Usually on their blades, this is a drop point. As you can see, it says uh, Ultratech SE, which is single edge. This is M390. I believe they've used 204. I believe they've used 204P, M390, and LMAX. The last, uh, I don't know, several months, most things I've seen from Microtech have been in M390. Excellent steels, premium products. You see you have... A nice little swedge here at the top kind of area. Your blade, although uh, one thing is these blades tend to be thin because your handle is thin. They also tend to be kind of a little short compared to the handle and blade ratio. Um, you know, the, the dagger or the double edge for everyday tasks, you know, it's more of a piercer stabber, but I, you can cut with any of these, man. You really can cut with using any of, the, any of these blade shapes on a daily basis. 
This one probably tends to be a little bit more popular as far as everyday or EDC use by most people. You've got kind of a DLC coat here on it. Man, he's not going to let up. Anyone that's got furry people or little animals or pets or things in your family, guys, it is what it is. I don't sit here and edit stuff. I don't. You see, you get, you get what you do. Now the other one's starting. That's about it. Oh, hey, guys, and one thing, too, Microtech says this rim oil, if you have a problem, spray some of this down inside your blade. You don't have to drench it, but spray some of this in there. Hold it upside down, let it drip out. Use some air, compressed air, if you need to blow it out a little bit, if you have any problems with it firing. That's kind of what I use. Uh, these things are awesome, awesome little knives. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. It was a little bit longer than usual on these uh, the review of the Microtech Ultratech single edge, all black. Highly recommend it. Stay tuned, subscribe, like the video. I'll be back at you soon with another unboxing or great video. This is Scott. I'm out.